Okay, so I've been working on the edit for the pigs AI from last week and I just wanted to get on real quick and talk about how it went. So basically, uh, I ordered it Monday. It was supposed to come on Tuesday overnight, but UPS had some delays and so we didn't get it till Wednesday. So I know my sow was in heat, standing heat Tuesday morning. So I was really hoping to get that AI Tuesday afternoon so that I could get that first dose in her. So I didn't get the first dose into her until Wednesday at one. Um, she was not standing by then. Um, but that doesn't mean that her eggs didn't drop at the end and then it could still work. So we will know in roughly less than three weeks, um, 21 days from last Wednesday, um, hopefully if she doesn't go into her, or Tuesday, I guess, um, if she doesn't go into her, you know, if she doesn't go into heat again. So I'm going to watch really closely and see in 21 days if these sows, um, went into heat or not to see if they they both took so it was in a warehouse um can I just leave it right there um so basically um it was in a warehouse for two days really cool temperatures um i know that the company does a really good job at um packaging it it's just whether or not it with held that and then getting it here late so we will see so i'm gonna post these videos it was a little wild um i was expecting it to go a little bit easier but then when she wouldn't stand and whatnot it just kind of got a little crazy but last time i did it um they both stood and it went pretty well um but farming there's not just it's not perfect it's always different and um we just kind of got to go with it right uh so i'm going to show you these and you may not like the way i do things or the way i have my setup um i don't necessarily love it either but i'm working on it to improve it and i think that's the big thing right now is um what we get out there to do each day to improve the situations for our animals and for ourselves and just getting out to grow our own food so hope you enjoy this crazy adventure of ai inc so we just got a package. I had to go meet the UPS driver. Um, so we just got it. It's a little bit late, so I don't know what's going to happen, but we're going to try this. So I'm going to unbox. I don't know the boars that we received, but I am so excited to find out. Um, we have two doses of a Berkshire and two doses of a Hereford. So we will see. I'm trying to decide if I want to do one pig Berkshire, one pig Hereford. We will see what I decide. Um, or I'm, I'm trying to decide if I want to do half and half. Um, so if I want to do a Hereford and a Berkshire in two different times. So here we go. And I use the Spirex. And um, okay, so we got Boris and TX. So I need to figure out which one of those is what bore. Okay, this one I'm super excited about. So, this is Boris. So, I'm excited to see those babies. Um, okay, so which one should we do? Should we do a Berkshire and then this one? Or we should do Boris first? Are you okay with that? If I do, like, a Boris and, like, a Hereford and a Berkshire and one pig and then swap? Okay, so I'm going to do Boris first. That's the Hereford. And um, I got the... Uh, I have the, we'll put this inside with me. I have the feed for the other girl, Sal. And, um, okay, here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You might be distracting her too much. Okay, Addy, you hold this. And I am going to shake this up. Okay, I think I'm almost there. Okay, Ty. You want to hand me the bone stone over? <laughs> she starts moving too much then. So basically, I'm just going to sit here and pump it and just keep pumping it. Um, 
getting her cervix to start working on accepting it. So I twisted it in until it wouldn't twist anymore. And then I'm just gonna sit here and try to pump this in. It may take five minutes, it may take 10 minutes. Um, it just kind of depends on a lot of things. I really don't know if this is gonna work. She didn't stand for me like they normally do. Um, so I may only get one dose in her. So basically getting it late was not ideal. You have a 24 to 48 hour window. You wait the first 12 hours and then you hit them. Um, so we'll just see, it's uh, probably slim chance. She's moving a lot, which isn't promising, but we're just gonna try it anyways. Now, if that was this sow, there's no way she would even let me do this. So I'm only able to like even do this, um, get it in her because she's so gentle. Um, I believe it's 67. I need to check the instructions one more time. Um, and so that's another thing is we don't know if the semen's still going to be good because it sat in a warehouse for two days. So um, we'll just have to wait for the, thir the next heat cycle in 21 days and see if they come back. Um, but yeah, it's, and there's a few degrees, you know, I kept it in the box in a nice warm place, not too hot, not too cool. Um, so I'm going to fill it up and then just kind of finish off the rest of this. And some might leak out, but that's okay. We're not done. We're not done. We're almost done. Okay. 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 So I'm going to leave that in her for a minute and then um, I'll take it out and it may just fall out and then we will see in two hours we'll try to do it again. Let's see. So I'm going to stick it in and then um, she's not loving this because normally when you spray them, it just, they go into the standing heat and it works perfectly. Um, because we got it late from UPS and I might have missed my timing. Sorry, sweetheart. Um, so I just twist it and twist it until it stops. So make sure you're going up into her cervix and not down into her bladder. And it will literally just stop. It just goes right in. And then here we're getting close. And we're there, okay? You'll know. You'll definitely know. And um, anyway, so we're day late. So not ideal, but we're still just trying it. So um, the boar spray didn't really work in the... In my timing, 
it normally works. It usually locks them and they just sit here. So we're gonna try feeding her and see how this round goes. Um, we'll know hopefully in three weeks, we can just kind of see if she swells up and hopefully we'll be able to tell. Um, and then I just kind of sit there and squeeze and um, that will go in. It kind of takes, you know, in, you know, three to 10 minutes. So it just takes a little bit of time to squeeze that in. But um, so far I've always had a good, I've just kind of really narrowed down their timing and it's worked out really great for me. So we'll just kind of see if um, having it come later than I would have loved to, it ha to have come. I was hoping to get her a dose yesterday and then a dose first thing this morning. Um, but I wasn't able to get it until about 1 o'clock today. So normally you do every 12 hours. But in this case, um, because I already know that she was in standing heat yesterday morning, um, I'm doing it a couple hours after the first dose. And that's what Shipley Swine told you to do, right? Yeah. That's what they told me to do was to um, do it just kind of a couple hours after the first dose. And... Um, just to keep her here, I did give her feed. Normally with the boar spray, you don't have to do that, but in this case, we are doing that. And normally I'd sit on her back, but she's not liking it. So we'll just have to see if this takes. Like, I'm really hoping so. I didn't hit the Christmas. Um, she came into heat right after Christmas. It was a Tuesday and UPS was closed Monday. So I wasn't able to order it three weeks ago. So, now I'm going to have to deal with, you might have to give her some more feed, Ty. Do you want to try to go grab some more feed, bud, and get both these mamas busy? Because I'm just, I feel like it's, is it even going in? It is, but it's coming out of her. Like, I'm sure losing a lot out of her. Which it's okay to lose a little bit. You don't want to be losing a lot though, so. Well, the first time we did it, it looked like it, we lost some. A little bit, yeah. But they still got pregnant, so. Yeah. So the first one I did Hereford. Um, I did a dose of Hereford, and this dose is Berkshire, so I'm excited to try some Hereford. I love the Berkshire. Um, I loved our cross from the large black Swabian. Um, Berkshire, um, so, but I'm just excited to try the Hereford also. So basically what I did was I, um, I watched for their swelling up and then I um, watched for the swelling up and then I um, took boar spray and I would spray it in their faces um, like a day or two after that. Um, I would spray it in their faces. Oh, be careful, sweetie. Were you just trying to give her feed or... Yeah, get out. Um, it's just like not going in. It's weird because it just. No, that's not like a thing. I just feel like, like it just doesn't feel like it's. I mean, I think it is. It's just. is like I don't see it in the tube but there we go um <laughs> she's like probably irritated with me right now <laughs> okay so it wasn't going in so I kind of pulled it out and now it's going in pretty good right there so, um, okay, so to, 
to how I got her cycle was I watched for their swelling. Once their swelling came, then um, a day or two, I started the boar spray, spraying it to see when their standing heat is. Um, you can come and sit out on their back or have one of your kids, depending on if your sows are gentle or not, um, sit on the their back to kind of figure out that standing heat. Um, but anyhow, so I use the boar spray, super easy. Um, then you know, that because they're going to stand for you when you use that boar spray, typically. Um, in this scenario, I guess it's always different because I'm a little late, so I'm just hoping that... Um, this will still work for me. Uh, what was I saying? Crap. My back's killing me. Um, where was I at? Oh. Um, and so then right away, uh, they'll stand for you and then you know that they're in their standing heat and you can AI. So then I just track it and then I just ordered the AI, um, on that date and said, okay, 21 days from that standing heat, I need the AI. And, um, Shipley Swine is great. They have, if you have any questions, um, they've always been so helpful with, for me. They're always, like, they're incredible, like, such an incredible family um, business. Like, they, I mean, crazy hours that, like, I've called them and, like, oh, I have this question, you know, I'm in the middle of trying to AI, and they're so great to answer. See, this time it's just so interesting. It's not going in like I would expect it to. I just feel like... I don't know what it is, like it's just not, maybe it's just because it's so close from the first one. Yeah, it could be, or maybe your service is closing up or something. And what does that mean? If the cervix is closing up, does that mean it's, out of heat or she's out of heat? The first dose took, but I don't know if it would. Like, <coughs> yeah. I mean, it's not just dripping out. Okay, so I would say, okay, and I mean, I could just take that off, close this, let it sit for a minute, and then I will take it out, or maybe sometimes it falls out, and um, I only have two sows, so I don't write, worry about riding on them or anything, um, or whatnot, so I just know, you know, I have two, I just have two, I don't have a big farm yet, so... Um, Maybe when we get into it, then I'll write, okay, first dose, so I know how many doses or whatnot. I use a farm map that I do keep track of um, everything, you know, their heat cycle, every detail, whatever I'm paying for feed, hay. Um, and so then I can go back, and it's so nice because it can list everything out by month, and then you have the date of whatever, you know, like if they're grumpy one day, I write it down, um, just so I can kind of track the, track those things and how they're acting and how they're doing. So, all right, um, we're gonna hope 21 days that this is the done. We're done with her, and uh, tomorrow we're gonna start our next sow. So, wish me luck on that one. I started it, mom. Oh my yeah. Hog mate. Hog mate. <laughs> Shouldn't have given her food. And now she's not gonna be. I smelled it. She, she stands for me. She may not be ready this morning. I don't know. Yeah? You gonna be ready for me? I smell it. Smells good. It smells like my food. She's not standing for me. Should I wait a few hours? Oh, okay, here she goes. Okay. Does she like belly rubs? She's ready. I think every pig likes belly rubs. Be quick. Okay. Just get back. Okay, so here's our spirette. He's probably gonna hate it. You're gonna get this quick. So she's probably gonna hate this part, Mom. <laughs> she's gonna hate this. Oh, she is standing. Up, and 
and not down. I want to be in her cervix and not in her bladder. It will not go anymore, okay? So now I'm gonna get this. We are doing Boris, which is a Berkshire. Uh, was the Boris the. It might have been the, the Hereford. The it's the Hereford. Boris is the Hereford. You said. Okay, and then I'm just gonna sit here and I'm gonna just pulse. And I'm going to. Let's see. Might have come out a tiny bit. Ooh, and I'm that's just going to sit here thing. and I'm going to pulsate. And this stimulates her cervix to receive the semen. I'm not putting a lot of weight on her back. I just, um, it's easier to make sure that I'm getting this, oh, the stick in correctly. I think she's like pushing it out. how she's just standing though for me? I might yep. be going too fast. Some is coming out, so I may need to just take it a little bit slower. She doesn't like this. Maybe she does. What? So she's just standing here for me, whereas yesterday, the other one might have been a little too late in her cycle. Which doesn't mean it won't take. She just wouldn't stand for me like this. Mom, is it okay if I give her a little bit of hay? She she won't take it, sweetie. She's fixated on this. She wants it to hurry up. Reason it's coming out. I'm not sure why. I can see it. Yeah. Um, which it's okay if some comes out. But the other mama, none of hers came out. How much do you need to put in there? The whole bottle. <gasps> Are you almost done? Um, I'm about a fourth of the way done. Okay. So this just as I pulsate, it just it's a, as I pulsate, it uh, opens up and contracts her cervix to receive it. Okay. So is it done? That's the end of that. Um, Subscribe. Ty and I are headed out. It's about nine o'clock, and we are headed out here to do the last AI on our second sow. So, um, oh, the joys of farming. It's 36 degrees, and. Uh, it feels really cold. Like, it does not feel 36. It's starting to snow. And it feels much, much, much colder than 36. Like, I'm thinking, like, because there's a wind chill. Did you see what the wind chill was, Ty? It was like three miles per hour or something. I don't know. It feels like it's 10 or less. Like, once you get that wind chill in with it, it's just cold. Because 36 isn't bad, but... Man, for some reason, it feels a lot colder than that. Okay, here she comes. She's ready to do this. You ready to do this, Piggy? You really? Uh, you ready to get your last dose in? All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's get this done. So it's just nine o'clock, but um, I just gave him a little bit of grain. Ty's gonna go grab me some of their feed, and um, 
we are going to get this job done. So these are Black Cross Swabian. And um, last time I used a Berkshire. So this time I did one dose of each. I did a Berkshire and I did a Hereford. So we may get some babies, um, some of each. So it'll be interesting to see. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see if you do this. Why are they just so chaotic? I can't get this other one. I gotta get this other mom. Move over here. Oh, did it do it? I think it did it. Okay. So do the sun. Sat on her. Go up. I gotta screw it upwards. This way. It's so hard on the fences right there. So much more difficult. She's standing for me. You're being such a good mom. Last time I only got food. food. One dose in her, so that it stopped. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's not even eating her food. Oh, she's not. No, oh, she's just ready for this, baby. Here we go. She's baby. the one that had eleven or something, right? Mm -hmm. Nine. What? Three. Yeah, she had thirteen. Two. Um. Two. Died. Still burst. And two, oh man, I don't know why sometimes it just comes out. <laughs> oh. So which one is this one? Mom? Which one is this one? Um, this is Texas, so this is the Berkshire. All of our animals want food. <laughs> My mom's out to feed me. Every time I come out, it's like a big feed fest. Boxing match. So basically, I'm just going to sit here and pump this. Um, and uh, get those cervix to accept. It's, it's just as though there's a bore inside. So... So for her, it's like, there's a boar. It's okay if there's some, oh man. Comes out. See how long people stand for me. Sometimes it takes a few minutes. So, yeah, get that close. I'm not putting much weight on her. I just, I'm sitting oh on her because to initially, oh gosh. Come I on. usually get the other one to feed more. Go. So they're not right up in the way. So Why is this one on her? Necessarily fun. Hey, okay, go away, mama. Okay. I should have got her more feed. Okay. Hopefully her cervix are ready for it. Standing still, which is really nice. Yeah. Did you do the other one yesterday? The other one? The other pig? Um, um yes, I did both doses. Pretty close because she's at the tail end of her cycle. So I tomorrow it would end, technically. What? Tomorrow's going to end. Um, for her, yeah. yeah. Well, they say 24 to 48 hours, so... 
I didn't know if I'd get one or two in her. So that's why I did them kind of closer together, more like 10 hours versus 12. Yeah. Just because she's kind of a pesky thing. Pump in it, pump in it, pump in it. Yep. And then she I'm will gonna... not let you stand like the other one. Yeah, she will not let me do this. If she's not ready for in standing heat, there's no way I'm doing this. She will buy she... us like okay. she tried to do yesterday. You can feel that. I'm going to take this off, let it sit for a minute, and I will take it out. So we'll just let it sit for a few minutes, a minute or two. And uh, looks like she's food. pushing it out. So these spirets, um, these are basically just like a bore. So they have different, they have the sponge, they have the different um, sticks that you put in them. And, uh, or I'm not really sure what they call them, but this one's the spirette. It's just like a bore. So it looks exactly like a bore, like it twists to go right into their cervix. And I had, I've had really good um, outcomes with it. Who is that? It's a goat. It, it is? is? She coughing? Yeah, she's like. Oh, she didn't usually cough. I'll have to watch her. Um, so I've had really good results so far. So we'll just have to see how um, they do. So this one was a day late. We got the AI a day late. So I'm a little nervous about it because she didn't stand for me for either one. So we'll just really have to see what happens in three weeks if I can tell if they're in their heat cycle, if they um, get their heat cycle going or not. And then I'll turn this off so you can see me. And then um, her, I know I hit it. It's whether or not I missed that 12 hours and then I got her right on but um she did great the last time so um I know that she's in her standing heat it's just whether or not you wait 12 hours after the beginning of the standing heat to AI her so it's whether or not I hit it just perfectly for the eggs to drop so um I got two doses the first time I got one dose so I got two doses in her two doses in her I did you're supposed to do like 12 out 12 hours apart i ended up doing her 12 hour two hours apart okay i'm gonna get out of here um and then hers is more like about 12 hours because i did it at nine this morning and now it's about nine at night so is that 10 is that 10 hours uh, so that's okay so. if it does trip out though yeah just a little bit yeah okay they did awesome this time. Yes. They were, they killed that. I'm just hoping that they take. I, I'm nervous. I'm always nervous. Um, the first time I AI'd, I had no idea what I was doing. And somehow I got so lucky they both took. So um, the shipment usually comes in one day. It came in two days. Uh... I mean, there's so many scenarios. It was on a cold floor in a shipment center for two days. Like, it may have killed the sperm. Um, Shipley Swine puts things in there that just makes it, like, hold really well, hold up. So, there's a potential that it could be good. So, we'll just have to see. Um, and hopefully, I can figure out if they hit their cycle in three weeks. I'll check them again. I'll use the bore spray. See if I can get them to stand again. And if they don't, then chances are they are probably pregnant. So we're praying. We're hoping because these are already May. So May about 13th, 14th. Um, hopefully we'll be having some babies. We can't wait because we sure miss all the little ones running around now that we only have a few. Um, I sure missed all of them just coming to follow me and find me while I'm working. Have a good night, everyone.